Yo, what is up everybody? It's Riley's Red Zone here with another film breakdown video for the 2021 NFL Draft. And today I'm breaking down Texas A&M quarterback Kellen Mond. So shout out here for suggesting I do a video on Kellen Mond. Comment down below if you have any players I should break down next. But I will say this is the last quarterback episode as after this I will have watched every quarterback in this year's draft and my next video will be ranking all of them so I'll have in-depth strength weaknesses player comparisons in the video for at least 15 of them and full rankings for all of them and I'll also uh, link a Google spreadsheet as well if you want to get some in-depth analysis on what I think on all of them so that should be coming soon but let's talk about Kellen Mond he has been gaining some hype since the Senior Bowl specifically. He's always been on the radar. I'd say he's been developing over the years. He's had time to be in the system. And he is picking up some steam. Uh, some people already have said, you know, back in the first round. Kind of, I think that was a bit of an overreaction. But I'd say there's a lot of people right now that are thinking he could go day two. You know, rounds two to three. So I want to watch him and find out where does he fit into this very talented quarterback class this year. Um, I'd say... Most people probably have him at the highest, I'd say, you could say like seven. I mean, you know, he's kind of in between there. I feel people will probably have Lawrence Wilson, Fields, Lance, uh, maybe Mac Jones for sure above him. And then you could maybe, you know, see where he lands compared to guys like Kyle Trask, Ian Book, other p players like that. So I want to find out where he falls in this. So... Today, I'm going to watch him against North Carolina from this year, so the bowl game, his last ever college game, as well as we'll watch him against Clemson last year just to get an idea of who he is against really, really good competition. And then I also will watch here a game against South Carolina from this year. So we want to find out who he is, where is he in this stacked draft class. So let's really find that out. And I do want to say before we get into it, if you have not already hit the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. It's only one click away. Thank you for all the support so far this year. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. And thank you for the support. I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so let's get right into it let's start watching Kellen Mond against North Carolina starting with a third and three here puts a decent throw it ends up being dropped but he finds his guy immediately it's a quick release uh, I don't think it's a perfect throw but easily a catchable ball just the receiver doesn't help him there Third and eight here, he tries to get it to his running back. Pretty risky play, but it's actually a very well-thrown ball. It's great positioning on it. Uh, you'll see it again later. They've used this running back route a few times, and so it gets open for him sometimes. And if that defender is not there, that's a walk-in touchdown. So I see what he saw on the playoff, that wheel route. Um, but it ended up being a risky throw, but he puts it in the spot where only the running back could catch it, so it was a pretty good throw for Mond. First and 10 here off the play action makes a beautiful throw. Great read from Mond here. Beautiful play design. You can tell, though, he kind of stared this receiver down the whole time, but nevertheless, this is a great play by Mon knows he's going to be open and puts the ball in the spot so his receiver can keep running. That was a really good play. Second and six, taking it himself with some speed to the outside. We see the burst, so we can tell right away he's pretty mobile. He can move around in the pocket and be featured on something like this, a read option scheme. So showing some quickness here from Mon. Third and eight dropping back he can't find anybody right away he tries to take off can't end up getting the first down but i'd rather him not make a risky decision he definitely did have opportunities he could look to his left for the running back or a little earlier the drag route at the middle of the, your, your screen you'll see he definitely had other options but i'd rather him make this play than make an interception so uh definitely also showing the quickness again so he made the most of what was there third and seven here dropping back and fires one down the field and it is going to be caught quite a throw here from mod 
definitely confident in the pocket and he's willing to take a hit and delivers a dime down the field. Wow, that was actually a very good play. Once again, let's see here, willing to take a hit for his team. I like to see that in a quarterback. And this is a dime. It gets over everybody. Great spot. That was a beautiful throw. Second and 18 now, stepping up in the pocket, taking off, and almost gets the first down by himself. Uh, once again, look, he's getting pressured, and he immediately knows to step up. And instead of making a risky play, he goes ahead and takes it himself. And gets down. He trips a little, but uh, the pocket presence is there with Mond. Definitely to step up there and then keep running and almost get a first down for his team. Once again, showing the quickness and pocket awareness. First and 10, dropping back, throws it over the middle. Very nice throw again from Mond. Reading here, sees him open right away, throws him in stride as well to gain a few yards and almost gets in there close to the end zone. Great read and great throw from Mond. Second and 18, this one's another example of receiver easily should have caught it, but is it a perfect throw? No, it easily could have been intercepted here. Um, the decision's not bad, it's just here. Let's see it again. It's a little high, but easily catchable, so its receivers are not really helping him out. So he's not putting it in a you know a textbook spot, but easily somewhere where that, that needs to be a catch from the receiver. So good throw from Mond. First and 10. This one not so great for Mond. He kind of pulls what I said about Justin Fields. And sometimes they get stuck on one read and he can't really move off of it. So definitely a risky decision here. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Um, but kind of just got stuck on that route the whole play. Lucky it wasn't a turnover. Another first and 10 here off the play action. Rolling to the right, throws it, and it's incomplete. This is one off his back foot. Is it an easy throw? No, but I think it easily could have been completed. So, um, once again, very difficult, but it just kind of sails it underneath. I'm surprised he couldn't make that throw with some of them we've made so far. So, uh, his accuracy, you'll see here later, can at some points be pretty inconsistent, and this was one of those cases. First and 10 here. This one's nothing special, but I think it's good to prove that we may have seen him get stuck on one read earlier. But here's a great example where he kind of transitions through it and eventually settles on the check down once nothing else was open. So this is very good reading the play from Mon there. Third and goal here. This one is another example of him staring down the play. Nothing bad happens, it's just incomplete. Um, but he stares it down the whole way. He makes the difficult part of the throw, which is getting it over that first defender, number seven. And if you don't, that's an interception. But he does get it there, but doesn't put it in a good enough spot for the touchdown. Uh, just got stuck on the one player once again. And then the accuracy with it was not outstanding on that play. First and ten off the play action here. Mond progresses through his reads then overthrows this one unfortunately makes a not too risky overthrow puts it in the spot where pretty much nobody gets it um but with some of the other throws we've seen if he kind of throws at a lower trajectory he can easily hit that guy on the sideline instead he kind of leads him upfield and that makes it a more difficult catch so good to see him progressing through the reads but could have been a little bit better placement on that throw Third and five here being pressured in his face and gets it off in a very tight window. Love to see that confidence. Just slings it in there and makes the catch. Uh, once again, not faced by pressure, willing to take a hit for his team. He doesn't get hit here, but he knows it's coming. So he gets rid of the ball quickly and gets it in between there. Uh, definitely a very tight window to make, and he is able to get the throw in there. First and 10 off the play action, looking to throw, chucks it downfield, beautiful throw, keeps running. Number zero here is a stud. We've seen many times, almost gets a touchdown out of it. Um, that receiver is really, really good. I, I don't know who it is. I'll have to do some research because he seems to be a really good uh, at getting open in a, a very big part of this offense. But it's a beautiful throw from Mond. Puts him in stride and keeps the drive going, almost getting a touchdown out of it. That was a beautiful throw from Mond. 
at the goal line now, looking to throw, rolling out to his right, takes off, easy touchdown. Once again, we see he has the speed to turn it on to 100 in a matter of seconds here. Doesn't see anybody open. Oh, he's got a ton of space, and he easily gets in there. So good to see the speed. He can easily be part of a running scheme. Third and six, unfortunately can't get anything to go here. Very risky, hits a few people, uh, but he does sense the pressure once again. Very good pocket awareness. Uh, lucky this maybe wasn't intercepted. It's a crowd of people, but uh, at least he gets rid of the ball, trying to make a big play for his team. They would go on to win this game. So that was his game against North Carolina, and I think we saw some highs and some lows. Uh, he's got a lot of traits I like. His speed is really, really good. His pocket awareness was something also I thought was pretty exceptional. Willing to take a hit and also knows when to move around the pocket. His accuracy was a little inconsistent. Sometimes seems to throw it high when it needs to just be normal or low. Uh, maybe overthrows, underthrows a few times. But overall decent and his arm is pretty good as well. Um, so there's no trait that jumps off the map, but pretty good at a few things and maybe a l few little things to work on. So that was a pretty good game, I'd say, from Mond. So let's watch him now against Clemson. This is going to be tougher competition, but let's see how he does against the big dogs. So let's see how he does against Clemson from last year. First and 10 here, faking the run, throwing it to the sideline. Beautiful back shoulder throw. That was really impressive. Nice run fake, and this positioning on this throw is beautiful. One-on-one -on -one leads it to the sideline, so only his receiver can make a catch. Beautiful throw. Second and 10 now, dropping back, firing it deep, and he just misses it. See, this is a very inconsistent throw. Um, he has the traits, it's just you get upset when you see something like this. He has the arm strength, but he overthrows him by multiple yards. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get it done there. Beautiful read, just overthrows him badly. Here's another one where it's a simple play. I mean, it's a little difficult throw, but he just overthrows it high. Um, just a normal throw would have been fine, but it, it's like he's trying to chuck it up there. Uh, when you don't need to, it's just a very simple, you know, one step back throw, uh, and he just overthrows it. So still inconsistent with some of these throws. Third down here, dropping back, fires it, and it's once again just an inconsistent one. Uh, caught a bad stretch here of plays where he does get rid of it, which I like to see. There's pressure in his face. Once again, he is not scared of the pressure, and that is great to see from my quarterback, but uh, it is uh, a rushed decision. Good to see him get rid of the ball, but just inconsistent on the accuracy. Good throw here on second and eight. Just reads through, finds his guy, and gets the throw. Uh, almost a first down. He just finds it immediately here and gets rid of it quickly and puts it in a great spot. First and 10 here, off the play action, throws it, and it's a little high. Very difficult throw to make, though. Uh, good effort. Once again, pressure in his face, not afraid of it. Uh, and he puts it in a decent spot where it's only his guy can catch it or nobody does. Very difficult throw to make. So credit to him for staying strong in the pocket and then making, you know, a risky throw. Uh, into not such a risky pass overall second and ten in the red zone now and this is just what makes you cringe oh it's just poorly executed it's such a simple play he needs to throw it right there and he misses it late and then he throws it behind the receiver it just oh that this is disappointing to see um, he just comes off it too late and that's a poor positioning on the throw just not a great one there from Mont. Third and four here, nice one from Mond. Once again, pressure in his face gets hit, but still makes the throw for the first down. Good play. Once again, staying confident and then finds his receiver, gets rid of the ball, and it's a good throw from Mond. First and ten off the designed run, gets some nice yards, good play design, but he fumbles the football. Oh, man. He, see, he, he's good here. He follows the blocks very well. Uh, just can't, you know, get down quick enough. And unfortunately, that's a turnover. Unlucky. Because uh, once again, you see the ability he has. He could be featured in, you know, a read option scheme. But 
lets go of the football here, which is obviously never good for your quarterback to turn the ball over. Third and 12 here for Mond. Gonna chuck it, and it's a little high, but catchable. Uh, another one, though, where the accuracy is just a little inconsistent. Does have pressure in his face, though, but that's a catchable ball. Just not getting help from his receivers. Once again, is it a perfect throw? No, but for pressure in his face, I like the throw, and it's easily catchable. Disappointing that that receiver dropped it. First and 10, off the play action, fires it over the middle. Here's a nice throw from Mond. Very good. Actually back shoulders it. Uh, so in one perspective, it probably wasn't a great throw, but if he was trying to back shoulder, it's a very good throw. But otherwise, it's a little inconsistent on the accuracy still, but it's a good play nevertheless. First and 10, looking to throw here, fires it deep, and it's catchable, but once again, not an unbelievable throw here, a little high. I like the decision. Uh, it went... It, it's just barely catchable. It probably should have been caught, but it definitely a little high. But you almost had to put it high for him to even have a chance at catching the ball. So I actually kind of like the throw. Just as receivers today are not giving him any help in this game. First and 10. Dropping back here. Pressure rolling out to his right. Gets rid of it. And I think they actually ended up ruling this a catch. Believe it or not. Uh, unbelievable from mine. This is something you'd see Mahomes do. You know, he's getting pressured all over. Not scared of it, though. And he gets rid of it. This would for sure not be an NFL catch, but I believe they called it a college catch on the field. So, uh, what a play. Just keeping the play alive. Even if it wasn't, you know. Let's say it was incomplete. Uh, that's unbelievable job from Mond to keep the play alive. First and ten off the play action for Mond here. Throws to the right and good throw. Makes the nice read. Uh, sees that out route, you know, him breaking towards the sideline. And makes a good throw. Beautiful play by Mond. Second and twenty here. Keeping the play alive. He's got pressure around him. Throws it just on the run, and even whether, once again, you can debate whether it was caught or not. But to keep this play alive is great from Mond. Off his back foot, kind of, too. Great job just improvising the play. Third and five, nice play from Mond here on the run. Slings it back in the middle of the field for the first down. Just very good job. Uh, pressure once again, moves it so he gets a better position on the throw. Makes a nice throw again for the first down. First and 10 off the play action, going to move all around, rolling out to his right and then find somebody and they end up getting a first down. Once again, keeping the play alive, able to just maneuver the pocket, staying strong, great blocking up front, and then he just moves to the right and then finds his guy with a little sidearm like Patrick Mahomes. Beautiful play once again from Mond. First and 10 off the play action, looking to throw, nice throw, that's how you do the sideline. Still a little high, honestly, but uh, much better, easier to catch. Now, the receiver was wide open this time, but still a great throw. To get a big gain out of it, it's a good play. Even though it could have been a little bit better, still a very good play from Mond. First and 10 now, looking to throw to the right, and this is just a bad one overall, risky, uh, kind of gets stuck on the read once again, receiver's not even ready for it, that needs to be kind of a back shoulder-ish, and he overthrows everybody, uh, yeah, that kind of needs to be a towards the sideline back shoulder, he just kind of puts it over both, honestly would have been easier for the corner to catch instead of his receiver, so not a real good one here, gets stuck on it. And then it's a very inaccurate throw. Second and 10 here. Looking to pass and gets it in between the defense and able to get a first down. So once again, another good read here from Mond. Fits it in between the two defenders uh, and gets a first down out of it. Third and five. Got to make something happen. He tries and it's just a poorly thrown ball. I see what he was doing. He almost got that beautiful play. Once again, on the wheel route, we saw it earlier. He tries, and it just needs to be a little farther. I thought, if anything, that was going to be intercepted by the guy covering uh, Spiller, the running back. But it ends up being a different player coming out of nowhere, really. 
uh, just that's how under thrown the ball was. That looked like it went straight up. I mean, it looks like it was on track to get there, but that ends up in the defender's hands. That was you know closer to the quarterback than the wide receiver. So that ends up being honestly a rubber duck on the field. Uh, he takes the hit, but unfortunately, that kind of cost him there. I saw you know I was I saw what he was thinking. Uh, just was not a very well thrown ball. First and ten here, looking to pass, throws it in between the defenders, and once again makes a very good pass, threads the needle, and once again pressure behind him, but still gets rid of the ball, and it's a great throw from Mond. Second and ten, a bad snap, but he's still able to recover. He's got pressure all over him, gets hit, and still almost gets a first down because his receiver makes a good play after the catch, but unbelievable improvisation. This one, I could tell on the replay, really was a bad snap, and he picks it up and is able to get rid of the ball. It's a risky play, you think. If you're a coach, you're thinking, oh, no, no, don't throw that, but he ends up making a big play out of it. Once again, willing to take a hit, takes it, and almost gets a first down out of it. Great improvisation. 3rd and 11, passing the ball here, needing a big play, and he gets it. First down, good read once again. Uh, great route by the receiver, getting open. Mon sees it, puts it in a good spot, and they get a first down out of it. Second and goal at the goal line, going to chuck it up there, and it is dropped. Beautiful throw. It's just the receiver tried his best, couldn't hang on all the way. As you can tell there on the replay, but oh my goodness, this is a beautiful throw. I absolutely love it. It's a back shoulder. He puts it where his receiver, only his receiver can catch it. I absolutely love the throw. The receivers couldn't hang on. And that one's not a bad drop. It just is unlucky, but beautiful throw from Mond. I really like that throw. Third and goal just puts this one a little high. Uh, inconsistent with the accuracy once again. Difficult throw to make, but just overshoots everybody. Fourth and goal now to end out the game. Wide open, easy touchdown. Gets open immediately. It's a very simple play, but they end the game out on a high note. So we just watched him against Clemson, and honestly, I thought he didn't play that bad. Was he great? There were some things I didn't love. The accuracy is pretty inconsistent. That's his biggest flaw. But we saw the speed. We see the pocket presence. He made a few decent back shoulders, and his receivers kept dropping the ball. I mean... It felt like they put up more than those three points. And honestly, for the defense, they did a good job holding them, uh, the, you know, Clemson to 24 points there. Um, that So it ended up as a two-possession game, and I definitely think that could have been the case without some of those drops. Uh, they could have put up more points, so they put up a decent fight against Clemson. Uh, and this is part of the video when I start to make some comparisons to NFL players. So uh, when I do this, I look at a mix between a physical build, you know, how tall are they, maybe uh, their size, as well as their play style. More so the play style. Um, and this one's interesting. He's very interesting, and I have a name, and I actually, so I was looking back, I think I already used this name a long time ago in the first film breakdown, but uh, th I made that on October 31st, I've already changed that, so I will say when I originally made the Trey Lance video, I compared Trey Lance to Jalen Hurts, and I thought that was kind of the case as he was mobile, uh, decent arm. Uh, but I ended up switching it, uh, you'll see next week who I have Trey Lance as a pro comp to uh, But I'm gonna go ahead and give Jalen Hurts to Kellen Mond uh, Looking at size, I, I thought of Teddy Bridgewater as well They're both just, um, I think Jalen Hurts is a good one where they're very mobile uh, They're pretty accurate, but they miss some throws sometimes They're pretty good at pocket awareness um, I, I think that's who I see. He just needs to work on his, you know, accuracy overall. But the traits are there with Mond. It's a decent arm. Um, he makes some special throws, uh, but just needs to get more consistent at them. Uh, so let's watch him against South Carolina now to see if anything changes. Starting with a first and ten here, running with the ball himself, and he gets a first down. Once again, seeing the speed Mond has off the read option. Definitely a threat in the running game. Third and six here, dropping back, going to fire it deep. And it's a bad throw, really. It's a risky one. It was very difficult to make, but it is way off target. Uh, a little low there. Uh, so definitely was a difficult throw to make, but it's pretty 
pretty off target there, but at least it wasn't intercepted. First and 10, maybe looks like an RPO, and that's a really nice play. Getting it in between the defenders, we've seen it multiple times. He can fit the ball into some tight windows, so a good throw from Mond. First and 10 here off the play action, firing it, and it's just off target again. This is one where it's open. This should be a pretty simple play to make. He is, does have pressure in his face, but he gets it out before, but that's just a way high and into the sidelines. Could have been a touchdown, honestly, if he puts it in a better spot, so pretty inaccurate throw on that one. Third and goal, simple play, but he gets it in there for the touchdown. Great play design. They have the little pick play kind of up top. Uh, the one uh, t like tight end is able to get two players on him and gets the receiver open. So simple but good play from Mond. Third and three here, throwing it over the middle, and he just forces it. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. We've seen him fit it into some tight windows here before, but he kind of believes he can every time, and that was almost intercepted. So risky play there. First and 10 off the play action. Gonna look to fire it deep, and he misses it again. He just sails it. Uh, frustrating here. Nobody in front of him. He's got all the time in the world, and uh, he's pretty open. Just misses the pass badly. Second and six, throwing over the middle. Once again, makes a very tight throw here. In between defenders, gets it right where it needs to be. Good throw from Mond. Third and one off the play action here. He gets it back over to the left, and that's a touchdown. Great job from Mond here. The pressure in his face. He rolls out, but he keeps his eyes open to the left. Gonna get hit. He does, but he still makes the nice throw for the touchdown. Great job from Mond there. Third and four for Mond now. Pressure in his face. Rolls out to the left. Can't find anything and gets the first down. Keeping the play alive, pressure right there up in his face, and he avoids the defender, breaks his ankles, and then goes back inside. He still kept his eyes downfield, but the second he doesn't see anybody, he takes off and gets a first down. This is what you like to see here. It's beautiful on the run. This is something you'd see somebody like Patrick Mahomes make. Uh, so this is amazing job by Mond, keeping the play alive and getting a first down. Third and four off the play action. Finds his guy open. Easy touchdown. Good job from Mond here just reading the play. And then he throws it in front of him so he can catch it and then get into the end zone as well. First and ten here taking it himself. Has the option to pitch the ball, but he doesn't. He cuts back in and that's a touchdown. You definitely need to keep an eye out for his legs here. You, you know, uh, the defender kind of bites too much on that pitch to the outside. And if he did pitch it, that would have been a big gain as well. Chances of touchdown. But Mond is fast enough to able to cut back and then get a touchdown himself right in between the two defenders. So a beautiful play design probably would have worked either way. But Mond is fast enough to get his team a touchdown with his legs on the option play. First and 10, looking to pass here. Gonna fire it deep, and it's caught. Touchdown, what a great throw from Mon. This is probably one of the better deep throws we've seen. He tends to struggle with them, but here he lets it fly, gets it over the defender, which is the difficult part, and it's caught for a touchdown. That was a really good play from Mond. It's good to see that he can make some of these deep passes as he struggled with a lot of them today. So good to see he does have a pretty strong arm and he can position it over that defender. So we just watched Kellen Mond against South Carolina and there were some highs and lows. I mean, we saw some good things. He's very mobile and I like to have that in a quarterback. He's got some big play ability. You know, he can make plays outside the pocket. His accuracy though can definitely be inconsistent. He missed a lot of deep passes or even intermediate passes that could have been completed. Uh, but I think he also has a ton of zip on the ball. He was able to fit it into some of those tight windows. Uh, so I think he was pretty good in that game. Now this is the time in the video I start to compare him to some of the other players I've covered and where I would draft him. So what I think about Mond is he really has the tools. Uh, he's got some really good traits. The speed, his arm is decent, um, his big play ability is great. Uh, I, you know, I think those are some good things. Uh, the accuracy though out of the quarterbacks I've covered so far 
probably maybe the worst uh, out of the. I think he's the eighth. Yeah, the eighth quarterback I've covered in video. I'll talk about the other quarterbacks next video. You know, with uh, the overall rankings, but. Uh, I do think he struggles in the accuracy, and sometimes that's something you can't fix, uh, but I think put in the right system, he definitely could uh, do pretty well. You put him in maybe like a Shanahan offense where you're not forced to throw it down the field all the time, I think he'd do great. He threw some great passes in the middle of the field. He can get it in between defenders. We saw that many times. So what I'm going to say is out of the quarterbacks I've covered, I'd probably rank him 7th. It's right between him and Ian Book to me for that seven spot. I'd, I'd put him about equal, um, honestly. And I'll talk about it next week, but I, I think they're around the same level where if you are just needing a safe backup, go with Book. But if you're needing maybe somebody to develop, a chance to be really good, Mon's your guy. So uh, I think I'm tending so far this year to kind of value upside a decent amount. So, for that reason, I'm going to put Mond above him. But uh, So, I'd rank right now Mond probably number 7. Uh, I definitely, though, looking at all the other quarterbacks, see why he is in this tier of quarterbacks, not with the other ones. Um, so, my grade for him is going to be a fourth round. Maybe a late third. Like, if a team takes him in the third round, I'm not going to be too upset. Uh, early third uh, it might be a bit of a mistake to me, but uh, he has the upside, and I, I do like that. If you're taking a guy in the third, fourth round, take a shot on him. I really think that's a, a good chance that he can develop into something, but I'm going to place a fourth round grade on him. But definitely keep on the lookout for my next video, ranking all the quarterbacks in this year's draft. I'm working on the the visuals and I think it's going to be really good one of my uh, favorites so far so make sure to keep an eye on that that will be my opinion on all of the quarterbacks in this year's draft so with that being said thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video